Hello, my name is Omar, and today I'm going to be discussing human instincts. Have you ever thought back to an experience that was involuntary and questioned why that occurred? Well, of course you have. I think we all have. Like animals, humans have instincts that affect their behaviors depending on the environment that they are placed in. All animals, including humans, are born with these instincts. Most people don't know what these instincts are or where they come from. Chances are, throughout your day or even throughout your life, you've unintentionally done something that you couldn't quite figure out why it happened. Today I'll be discussing what human instincts are, where they come from, and some positive and negative aspects of human instincts. Now that you're aware of the overview, let's begin with what human instincts are. According to Eric Pianca, human instincts are genetically hardwired behaviors that enhance our ability to cope with vital environmental contingencies. In other words, human instincts are naturally derived for survival, um, they affect humans' behavior, and they affect our decision-making and our actions. Some examples of instincts are fear, jealousy, and sex. The list could go on. Everyday humans use their instincts, whether it's to step back from an uncomfortable or dangerous environment, or whether it's being anxious or um, having anxiety for an upcoming exam. Could you imagine a world where human instincts didn't occur? So now that we've established what human instincts are, let's go over where human instincts come from. Human instincts evolved from our ancient ancestors. Our ancient ancestors used human instincts to help them with their surroundings and to help them with survival. Human instincts are embedded in our DNA. Instincts aren't something that can be taught, learned, or developed. Um, environmental factors such as surroundings, genetics, and instincts affect human behaviors. According to Simon Gatcher, sim uh, stimulants message the brain, signaling receptors which initiate action. Instincts automatically make people react without any thought, not giving them any chance to be reasonable. Lastly, I'd like to discuss some positive and negative impacts of human instincts. According to James Rowland Angel, instincts are naturally viewed as good, but can also be viewed as positively, can also be viewed positively and negatively. Some positive um, impacts on human instincts are fear, maternal, and sex instincts. Fear instincts occur when somebody is very cautious and very alert of their surroundings throughout their day. Um, maternal instincts occur um, mainly in the mother but also in the father. They are, <clears throat> they are activated when the mother becomes very protective of their children and their surroundings and when the mother knows exactly when their baby is in need of something. Sex instincts occur to make our population, they form our um, generations, they f and they form our families and our friends. Some negative impacts of human instincts are jealousy and social instincts. Jealousy causes bad actions in one's environment and causes them to make irrational decisions. Social instincts is when somebody feels the need to be accepted in society or they need the f um, to feel they feel the need to fit into society. This can also cause anxiety and cause someone to be antisocial or stubborn. Sometimes instincts overwhelm reason. After discussing positive and negative impacts of instincts, let's go over everything we've talked about. First, I talked about what in instincts are. Then I talked about where these instincts come from. Then I went over some positive and negative impacts on human instincts. So the next time you're uh, instinctively doing something without thought, hopefully you'll be able to recall what you've learned today and determine why that occurred. Thank you for your time.